Okay, hey guys, uh, it's Avery, and I wanted to come here and make a little video on six tips that really helped me to be able to save for our Italian vacation. So, I've been known to do some pretty crazy things when it comes to saving. I uh, have been known to buy toilet paper at estate sales. 32 rolls of like the industrial sized toilet paper, uh, three bucks. Like, are you guys really selling this? Because I actually needed toilet paper and this will save me a trip to the store. I'm like, I don't care. I have no shame. It's taken my husband Tim and I a couple years to do this, but in March we are going to Italy and we are so freaking excited. Here are some of my tips for how you can save to go on a trip like this. First off, I would say ditch that coffee. It really adds up, even the cheaper coffee. So, I mean, you've got a perfectly good uh, coffee pot at home, I would say just make that at home. Just drop those unnecessary expenditures. So drop the cable, lose the coffee. Um, if you think about it, if you sit down and you just really think about it, a lot of times there you can list between five to ten things that you're like, I really don't need this. My second tip would be to thrift. I love thrifting. Ever since I got married, um, my husband really got me into thrifting, actually. Before, I was like name brand, like just a label person. You know, I really, I just wanted stuff because it was from this store or that store. And I just started to realize like how stupid that is. I should probably take more advantage of this tip, but um, you can get online and like email uh, brands and a lot of times they will send you coupons. So I'd say definitely thrift and coupon. Third tip would be to drop your car payment. I bought a car, it's a used car, um, but I love it. Um, I actually came from before that car, I had the car that I actually drove when I was in high school, but I bought it used. And we came out with the title and it was like right at 5,000. And I took out a loan from the bank and in exactly a year, I paid that off. And so I just, you know, I would say drop that car payment if you can buy used. You know, a lot of times people, it kills me when they like will buy a brand new car because it's like, it depreciates as soon as it leaves the lot. So why not just buy a used car? Cars are just about getting you from point A to point B. My payments were like, the bank said I could pay like 150 a month, but what we did was we put 300 towards it a month. We just threw more and more at it and that's how we were able to pay it off so much sooner. We actually paid off my husband's car that way, and it was uh, quite a bit more. I think it was like twelve or thirteen thousand. Um, it took two to three years to pay that one off. But if you put more towards, you know, they always give you a minimum payment. Always pay more than that minimum payment because then you won't have as much interest, and you get it paid off. And then that's an extra couple hundred bucks that you have a month that you can save for a trip. Number four, I would say you might want to reevaluate your job. My situation is a little bit weird and a little bit different um, because I was working part-time at a bakery and then I was also pet sitting on the side. It got to where my pet sitting business was going through the roof like I was having calls and texts and I couldn't handle all the business because I was also working part-time at this other place I reevaluated my job because I was like I'm I could be doing so much other business more business over here on this end and not have to do this over here and you know it was also something that I love doing I love pet sitting and I love working for myself and being my own boss so I quit that part-time job and now I just pet sit full-time. Think about reevaluating your job, like is it worth it to drive, you know, so many hours across town and you're only getting paid this much. My fifth tip would be to resell items. You resell things on 
Etsy. I mean, you can do Craigslist, but it's a little sketchy anymore. Honestly, get on Facebook. There's local pages for wherever you are, I'm sure. Um, there's yard sale pages around where I live and resale pages, and you can do pretty well on there. And my sixth and final tip, um, this is in no way a plug, but um, I have to mention it because it definitely helped us in getting really serious about saving for this trip to Italy. Um, my husband, he went through the Dave Ramsey financial peace class back way, like a long time ago. We actually knew each other back then, but it was like when we were both in high school. And you know, you go through a class like that um, at that age and I'm sure you're like, what is debt? Or what is fiscal crisis? What, what is any of it? Um, but he took that class and uh, that really helped us to save. Um, it made us get serious again. We budgeted and I can't stress enough how much that class has helped. But anyways, uh, that is just a few of the tips that I have for um, how my husband and I personally saved to go on this trip to Italy. So if you haven't done it already, uh, give me a thumbs up on this video and look for more travel and thrifting, budgeting, saving money type content. And if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to my channel.